Okay, good morning, Mrs. Swiss class. I'm sorry I can't be there with you today, but I had time to make this video for you. My daughter's really sick. You guys know Sophie. Um, she's really fighting the flu still. So wash your hands after you play these ukuleles and um, just uh, take a look. So first thing we do is we are not going to be able to tune your ukuleles today. Um, hopefully they're still in tune from yesterday because I tuned all of them with the other class. Uh, we're going to put our seatbelts on. Your ukulele is on your lap against your uh, belly. We're going to put our thumb on the back of the neck. And we're going to start with C. So let's just warm up with C. We'll put our ring finger on our red sticker. And let's strum for eight counts. One, two, ready, go. Okay, so now let's review F. F is with our pointer finger and our middle finger on the yellow stickers. Okay, so once you get those fingers on there, let's go ahead and make sure your thumb's on the back of the neck and let's play for eight strums. Ready, go. Great job. Okay, so now we're going to go back and forth between F and C. So we'll start on C. We'll do eight strums. <clears throat> Move to F. This is what we ended our last class with. So we're using it as a warm up, going back and forth between F and C. So starting on C, get your ring finger on the red sticker. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Get ready for F. One, two, change to F. So we've gotten back and forth from C to F. We're ready to learn our new chord. So our new chord is G. Wow, so exciting. And on G is those last three stickers that you see on your ukulele. They're on the second fret and the third fret. And this one's especially tricky because we're using two of our fingers on the same fret. Okay, so you're going to curve, see how my hand is curving up to the head of the ukulele? That's going to help get those two fingers on the one spot, on the one fret. And then ring finger stretches down to the next fret. Okay, so we're going to pause the video so that you can get those fingers. Pointer finger, middle finger, and ring finger. Check your stickers. I know you're gonna to wanna to play like this to look, but then you gotta fix it back to be against your belly like this, okay? So why don't you take a minute to find G. You can try strumming it. Remember to curve around. You gotta have this space, see the space? So that you're not touching any of those other strings, okay? here or you can play along finding G okay so now we have our three chords we have C F and G okay we're going to practice going back and forth to them with no strumming. All right, so no strumming. Let's play C fingers. I mean, just hold C fingers. So ring finger on the third fret. Now go to F. Now go to G. Pointer and middle again, but then add the ring finger on the fret below. Let's go back and forth between G and C. G to C. G. I mean, oops, I said that word. C to G. C to G. 
just give your fingers some exercise, pressing down those strings nice and hard, okay? With nice curved knuckles. See my knuckles are curved? Okay. All right, shake it out. And let's try changing from C to G, okay? So we're gonna start on C. I'm gonna give you plenty of time to get to G. So this is the beginning of switching from C to G. Okay, C fingers. Okay, so we've got our thumb on the back, seatbelt on. Make sure your hand is holding the curve so you can strum with your thumb. Thumb, other thumb, left hand thumb on the back. Ring finger on your red sticker. Let's start on C. And then think ahead where your fingers need to go for G. One, two, start on C. Change to G. Ready, change to G. One, two, ready, play. Let's go back to C. Ready, play C. Let's go back to G. Two, ready, play G. Now back to C. Why don't I give you a second to try those three chords on your own in whatever order you want. But try C, G, and F. Okay, and then we're going to try C to G and F. It's a little less time switching on G. Feel free to pause the video. All right, so let's try C to G. Here we go. Starting on C, we're gonna change to G with less time in between. One, two, ready, play C. Change to G. G. And back to C. Change to G, think ahead. Ready, G. You are almost ready to play Sweet Caroline. The other thing that we were going to learn today, which you are going to learn today, is about strumming. Okay, so we can strum a few different ways. We've been strumming with our thumb. So for now, I just want you to rest your other hand. We're not going to play any chords, um, but we've been playing with our thumb. Some people also play with their pointer finger now, but pressing it against their thumb like this. allows you to go up and down. You can also do that with your thumb. So just give it a try. Try Pause the video and try playing strumming up and down with your thumb or with your pointer finger and thumbnails. You can pause the video. And then when you're back, we're going to try a different strum pattern. So let's try C fingers. We're going to play down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. Join, join with me whenever you're ready. Down, up, down. Down, up, down. Down, up. Let's try it on G. Get your G fingers, our new chord, your purple or blue stickers, those last three stickers. And let's try down, up, down, up, down, down.
that's another way of strumming. So you can say down, up, down to come up with a strum pattern. Okay, now we have enough chords to play a progression in a song. You guys are going to play along to Sweet Caroline. And any chords that we haven't learned yet, just don't play. Don't worry about playing them. Now some of the changes to G are a little bit tricky, but you can do it. And take your time and get to the next chord. If the teacher who is subbing for me knows how to slow down the video um, by clicking on the settings um, icon in the bottom right corner of the YouTube video, you could try that. If not, try it at tempo. Try it at the speed it's at. And you can play um, and sing along. So that link is included in the subplans, and you guys are going to play along to Sweet Caroline for the rest of your class. Um, and then you can try, I think there's one other video that you can play along with. Um, I think it's Best Day. I think we did that together, and now you'll know G, so that's good too. Don't worry about A minor, but if you see it on there and you'd like to try it and challenge yourself, if there's a few people who are starting to get the hang of it, A minor is just the yellow sticker without the pointer finger of F. So it's like F, but with one less finger. All right, miss you guys. I didn't want to um, put you behind on ukulele. I want you to be up on our G chord. So I hope that you have been able to get that today. And you can try playing G along with this video. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Have a great weekend. Stay healthy.